Peace, family. Peace, peace. This is your boy, Boogie Black, a.k.a. LeVar Sprinkle. How y'all doing today? Peace, family. Peace. And um, this is the Family Vibes music, I mean, the, the Family Vibes channel. So, sorry for my, uh, for my slurring. Um, <laughs> today, I got a special guest, my sister, Adina. Hello, hello. It's her first time on the, on the show, doing the podcast. So, um, I'm a, I got a couple. I got a couple of topics I want to talk about, but um, I really wanted to actually get into the book promotion, the family five, the family vibes music group, um, the book. I still got it here with me. If anybody need a copy, please get in touch with me or get in touch with Math. Also, I got the shirts up here, as which I can see. The Sprinkle Family Merc. So if anybody is definitely interested, please get in touch with myself or Math. Okay? Um, first topic, I want to talk about relationships. Because suddenly I've been getting a lot, a lot of uh, amusement out of uh, <laughs> being in a relationship and who I am with and my personality, who I think I should be with or not. Um, so my thing is with relationships, I, I, it's a lot of unhealthy ones out here. It's a lot of unhealthy ones out here right now. And I don't feel the need to actually, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot, of, a lot of weird people out here to be in a relationship with, especially in New York. How you feel about it? I feel like it's important to have a relationship with yourself in order to want to have a relationship with anyone else. So I think not to look at it from a personal perspective by saying that there's a lot of weird or bad relationships because some relationships last really long times and there's bad, a lot of bad, but there's some good. So to look at it from just a personal perspective, I think that is important to know uh, what kind of person you are to what kind of person would benefit or you feel comfortable being in a relationship with if you're comfortable with yourself to move forward to have a relationship so how or a decent relationship, appropriate relationship, I feel like. So how come that never works out for... I don't, for we, already know that, we already know it never works out for us. Okay. For you or for... I, I'm sorry, you saying reference us, meaning you're for yourself. I, I personally don't, I myself am not in a relationship, you guys. I feel like right now in this current time, I'm working on a couple of things as far as um, just with family, coming out of COVID and trying to get basically back on track with everything. I feel like relationships, if it happens and I f happen to find someone, that they feel and I feel that th this is a good thing to start and do right now then moving forward I still feel like everything is a process and it automatically should be still taking consideration slow I, I don't think nothing we should just jump it should be a relationship one plus two they, I don't I still feel like relationships comes from you having a relationship with yourself from you every day saying well this is a process this is something I want to work on move forward, these are things I want to an anticipate, and I still feel like it should be a 50, 50 situation with the next person. Wow. That's beautiful, but I, 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 I still... You're looking for relationships to be something that you just have, and automatically, if it doesn't work out, oh, this person is bad, I don't want to talk to this person no more, and this is a girl... No, I feel like this is why a lot of people tend to lose a lot of good not even just talking in a sexual or just in a reference terms, girlfriend and boyfriend, just good people in their lives because they tend to just look at it from a relationship perspective. Well, see, you got a lot of that going on now. I mean, ain't nobody trying to really, ain't nobody really give a fuck. These are back to the conversations that should begin to anticipate or people should have in the beginning of this is what I want, which is a relationship with someone else. Conversations of boundaries, conversations of appropriateness, conversation of comfortability, things not to talk about, things to talk about, and why can't we talk about these things if we care about each other? 
as adults moving forward, these are appropriate things to talk about as far as if this is the person you think that you should have a relationship with. And I feel like if you can't have these um, proper proper uh, conversations with someone, then uh, obviously I feel like that is a situation where you should consider, is this the proper person to have a relationship with moving forward that's appropriate? Well, well moving forward, you know, like I said, it it, it, it took right and it, it took wrong. people it took us it took us a while to really figure this out. Right, it took us a while because um, and a lot I feel like a lot of it does come from growth, age, appropriateness to look at it from an age perspective because um, a lot of people can tell you a lot of people statistically speaking on it have brought up these uh, conversation topics and can tell you it took them a while to get to a point where they felt like maturity, this is why it happened. And I guess, you know, I feel like age is a, something that we should anticipate, we def definitely should look at as far as relationships. I don't think no age one should just, but a number. you know, That's say that say. we want, no. I, I feel like the appropriate age should be looked at for that because I don't feel like somebody just coming out of high school know exactly what kind of relationship they think they should have or want to jump into. I think there's time to be considered there. That's why I don't feel like relationship is something that people should look at. Well, Maybe building well, more relations with themselves to build a more connection with people to start is better than just saying, I want a relationship. Maybe looking at it from a different word, you know, using a different word to speak on it or a different way to go about it should well, be more well, what, 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 what would you tell? What, what would you tell somebody... That really wants a relationship or tell somebody, like, if you're in a group, a sudden or something like that, how would you be able to explain that same type of talk to them if they if they are in a younger phrase of a group? I feel like a lot of people look at relationship as something they want because they're not getting that type of connection or feeling at home where they feel like they're... Um, They're wanted or they're loved or they have that type of needed um, from somebody as far as their home. I feel like home base is very, or their support is very important in their lives. And I feel like this is why people look at relationships as something that definitely should be needed or anticipated in their lives. If they feel like they're most of the time loners like ourselves, which is what I think this is why we're looking at it like that. Because a lot of people who become loners at young age because of either social dynamic adversity issues that happen usually when they're younger or when they get to a certain age and they feel like they're a different financial or, you know, comfortable set point, but they haven't developed the social, um, the social attitude or behaviors to um, lock tight that, okay, moving forward within my mental state, I think a relationship is appropriate to start looking for now. I feel like that contributes to our people's mind frame on the idea of having a want in a relationship. And I feel like people should look at what it is that they truly want, not just to say, I want a relationship, maybe a friend that I can have this type of connection with for the moment until I see that this is what I want as far as, because I feel like a lot of people don't understand that we live in a big world. A very, very, very big world, and 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 time. I always tell people, time really does heal. Or, or you know, not maybe everything, because you know that's what makes life not fair. Because maybe not everything, you know, every human is able to cover. But time heals a lot when you allow it to um, be, and and let time heal it by looking into other things to um, anticipate what it is that's happening. Maybe looking at, okay, maybe I'm trying to heal from something or maybe I'm trying to say to myself, maybe, yeah, I do deserve to have this, but maybe I'm looking at it from a, 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 a perspective that may not be what that is. Maybe not a relationship. Maybe I want a friend. Maybe I want to learn how to build a relationship with a male friend if I'm a female because I didn't have that many male um, appropriateness. You know, a lot of females, especially black females, I myself have had issues that I feel like building proper connections with 
my own culture of men and talking to them appropriately, at behaviorally, you know, myself, I feel like there's a lot there that, you know, and it, and it, and it goes across the board it's with every lost. culture. It it's goes across lost. the board with every culture. It goes because I come from a background of uh, diversity. I grew up in Staten Island, New York, where, you know, I went to school where literally for three years I was like literally the only black girl in that school. And so, you know, I, 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 I've been exposed to a lot as far as diversity and different, the grass is always not green. You know, the grass is definitely in every corner not always green, you know. And this is why people really need to look deep within themselves. That is a definite, that people need to look, sit down, meditate, and learn that that is appropriate versus going out into the world and looking for complete strangers to find healing or to find need or, you know, necessity within yourself because, you know, everyone, every human being doesn't learn what they need to learn to, you know, stay grounded and live in this world, you know, and to have a relationship and to want a proper relationship moving forward and to want to be married or have someone in their life, you know, looking at the people, my grandmother, my grandfather been married for over 27 years. They got married around 1990 when I was born. I'm in the marriage uh, photos, actually. And one of the things they mentioned is the connection they had with themselves, the things that they were doing, and who they were at the time that made their relationship. My grandmother has Alzheimer's. My grandfather has on-site dementia himself. And they, you wouldn't think that they, they were their brothers and sisters at this point still after 27 years and i feel like that only doesn't come from just love you know that comes from just having that within yourself and working on a lot of things my grandfather and my grandmother worked on a lot of things in the open with the family um talking about mental health is a big part of it talking about your state of mind self-preservation you know is is a big part of it wow I mean, you gave a whole life story. Because <laughs> so. I like to use examples. I don't like for people to just, you know, hear me out, hear me talk about Keep one thing, and then I don't use right. any examples. All right, all right. So let's talk about poverty. Do you think that the relationships have a big role in poverty? Back to the adversity part, you know, poverty does play a good, important role in why people do not get to, you know, learn a lot of these things as well. As I mentioned adversities early on, on-site issues that come from not knowing how to reach out and talk to someone about a lot of things that they may be experiencing that they may not know how to reach appropriately to learn how to act, you know, I wouldn't say like regularly or normal because normal was defining a, a big important part in that situation that I may not know myself, so I don't like to use that word. To talk genuine, general, I like to use, you know, just the same as appropriate. I like to use the word appropriate in general. You know, they may not know how to approach it like that because of coming back into, uh, you know, using myself as an example, having a low poverty situation growing up and, you know, a lot of people around telling you to go this way about doing things and to talk this way when you talk to that person. A lot of that comes from the upbringing of poverty and just learning how to get in when you fit in most of the time. And yeah, a lot of it comes from that. I myself talking from a female woman perspective. Well, here's a male perspective. Black perspective. A lot of that comes from that. And that's why it's very important to know. Is everything got to be about education? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Dina. Because fighting for education, be about, fighting oh, for knowledge, black men, and all oh, just no. Black people I'm not saying black in general. I'm talking in a big perspective. If I say that, I'm saying myself. But if I say, if you want to bring it into a general perspective, once again, I like to talk from general perspective. That's why I said to use myself as an example. I am a black woman, so I'm going to say I myself, black woman, coming from my perspective. I keeping it on our eye, but in a general perspective, most minorities. And I say I grew up in Staten Island. I've experienced in different but cultures you're, but you're familiar as well. I'm familiar with different cultures more than I'm familiar with just judging it from my own self and my own culture anyway. So looking at it from a general perspective, 
adversity does play a big important part in that and upbringings well because we, uh, we, you know we, a lot of people from, say we once they went to college i've read over 72 to 100 books but my mother may put picked up and read one or my grandmother and didn't pass junior high school learning I mean, we and when they got married, they got married for different reasons, but they lasted longer than most people who are married today. You're so I about, think adversity. You're about grandpa, and them? grandpa, my friends, and their grandparents, and other people that I've experienced that I've talked to about that. Yes, poverty, adversities, early on site issues, or later on issues that most people do not catch later on in but themselves and poverty, lives. That's play a big important part. Poverty, in that. poverty don't have nothing to do with love. Poverty has poverty has to nothing do. to do with love. But you don't want to push or put your issues or what you might think is okay or comfortability with a certain way of living and thinking on someone else. If someone else is trying to advance and they have the capabilities of doing so because they might be at a different mental pace with it, then you should automatically, if you care about that person and want that person to be themselves and you love that person, you want them to grow. Some people are able to step back and walk away and still watch that person from a view appropriately, and some people they can't. Not because they're jealous or anything. Like I said, a lot of it comes from within yourself. Okay. Well, I just think that, you know, poverty comes from something different. Poverty comes from the, the neighborhood. And I don't think shit. poverty has anything to do with love. I, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Cause but I, I think it can play a big, important part in it being how misplaced. It could be like, because two people that say they love each other, like I just mentioned, Never and in, one person's at a poverty. different financial state, and this person is at a comfortable state, but it may not be at a comfortable state for this other person that can create issues. So you mean to tell me for and two I'm people talking that's established, a female for two people that's established in poverty, one might not be big comfortable than, with that, and one person might be okay that's, with that's it. The, that's it, it is sign, funny how that's that works. A sign out. of envy, ain't, ain't that? Ain't, ain't that the sign of envy? I don't know. Like, that, that might be the sign of envy, it's a jealousy. If, if I, that's why I said I don't feel like it is a sign of envy or jealousy. I, I, I feel like sometimes if, it can't be, but not all the time. If we both established, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make this clear. If we're both established, right? Mm hmm. In poverty, even though my shit may be a little bit more comfortable where I'm at than yours, it's going to cause confusion. Is that what I'm hearing? I feel like for some people it causes confusion because for some people they may not be comfortable with that state of so mind why would or you, that comfortability why would you, level. Why would you, so why would love play a role in poverty if if it's going to cause an envious mistake that might you know you call it envy. you call it envy that's why i feel like that's I, it is not envious to look at it from one perspective is why people might 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 feel or come out of with a negative point of view i look at it i'm saying i look at it from a double standard point of view because i'm looking at it and not a sexist, not to say sex to your sexist, but in a, a sexist way, looking at it, it from just a, a man or woman man frame. Because I it listen, hear me out. Just give one one example. Going off topic, I was in a pharmacy one day, and I was paying for actually just a bill and picking up medications, and I had to pay for it. I had a copayment and everything. At this time, mind you, I'm in North Carolina. I had the house that I had to pay rent and water to, and I was only That's what nice. thirty years old. Can you hear me out? There was a woman inside the store who was 49 years old. And she was complaining on the phone that her ex-husband was complaining how she has no issues because she doesn't pay her own bills. Now, she was looking at me, like, for some type of, like, and, I, you know, I, the only thing I could say holding the keys, the wallet, and the two bills while I was picking up the medications for mommy as well was, Miss Lady, I, you know, I honestly wish at this point that I can have your side on this situation, but I myself have never had, <laughs> you know, I, you know, it, it must be nice. You gotta be. But listen, hear me out. That's why it can, to look at it from that perspective, now this is somebody who's never had to live that way. 
and they that age. Well, I, I don't know. They, and if they, he felt because he loves her that this was a situation that should have been handled, then why wait so long to say something or feel, you know, feel uncomfortable about it anyway? It's not enviness. I feel like everybody's mental saying. state, everybody's main mind friend and mental state, usually when they get into a relationship, this is why we have to look at it from a different perspective as far as appropriate and, and things that are not appropriate. We got to look at it? Things or that do they got to look at it as their own perspective? And looking at your self-preservation, looking at people's mindsets and mind frames is very important when they get into relationships. Man, look. Listen. I like to put it on the table. So what is your idea of comfortability? You know, do you see us? I look at numbers annually. $25,000 a year is not enough money. It is not enough money. I never said You know what I'm saying? I break it down into conversations like that. That's, do you like jobs way. at McDonald's? That's you know what I'm saying? I do icebreakers. I went to school for sociology. I do icebreakers. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then sometimes because I date a lot of interesting men, they 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 tend to know what I'm where I'm going. They be like, I like you. You funny. I know what you you trying to see what I'll be like. Well, Miss, I, I I work here and I got this, but this is the conversation. These are the conversations I feel like is appropriate because you want to see what kind of man you getting into, and you and vice versa. This is what he was talking about. He wanted to see what kind of woman you're interested in being, where you want to go. How this is the, you know, saying we had those conversations later on. But I thought you said no. We can do that. You can't do that with somebody you know nothing about. And the first conversation was talking about was just ice cream. <laughs> That's for damn sure. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna come right back, and um, we're gonna go to a break real quick. So we're gonna come right back and get into more of this. And all right, but as far as this poverty, um, as far as the um, poverty situation, um, we we we, I, it was something got to be done about it. I mean, it's much deeper than just relationships and just the thought of having um, having thoughts of losing everything. You know, it's just it, it's un unbearable. So, I. Right. So we're gonna so. We're going to go, and we're going to take a five-minute break, and we'll be right back. I can see in your eyes that you're really tight Baby, get some rest before your mind flies Now I'm getting impatient Let's make it right It's either that or never for a time is fire I'm missing your eyes in your sexy lips The way I'm feeling on your booty and your dick hips I can tell you miss me by the way we kiss But that's in the past now like it's in the mist Just pick up the phone, don't be ignorant Just talk to me nice and be considerate Take it to my heart, don't let it go to waste Let's share equal love, let me reiterate I'm here for you Baby, let's have equal love. Let's share equal love. Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out. Love disappeared on me, but now it's found. Let's have equal love. Let's share equal love. When I look into your eyes, they bloom like you. Can't play myself close, gotta be mindful. I wanna be your friend, never to be lied to. When I call butterflies, they remind me of you. It's harder nowadays to tell who likes you My heart is frozen, it'll warm soon Love is coming from you, cause I think about you You stirring up love, you my little boo I've been up all night, cause I'm going through it I've been aggravated, cause I'm having these misfits We didn't have a bad us, but what a trip You've always been my soulmate, I won't forget I begged you over, over for the love I miss You didn't have boyfriends, but they like this I was mad at first, but I thought it great that we found equal love that I do back I'm here for you, man Let's 
I'ma hold it down for you in and out. Love disappeared on me, but now it's found. Let's have equal love. Let's share equal love. I'm here for you, baby. So bad when I'm not around. It's like we took a swim and accidentally drowned. I'm here to make you smile, not watch you frown. We can go places just to see the town. I can see in your eyes that you're really tight. Maybe get some rest before your mind flies. I'm getting impatient. Let's make it right. It's either that or never for a time. It's by your eyes, missing your eyes, seeing your sexy lips. The way you're feeling on your booty and your dick hips. I can tell you miss me by the way we kiss. But that's in the past now, like it's in the mist. Just pick up the phone, don't be ignorant. Just talk to me nice and be considerate. Take it to my heart, don't let it go to waste. Let's share equal love, let me reiterate. I'm here for you, baby. Let me be there for you, baby. Let's have equal love. Let's share equal love. Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out. Love disappeared on me, but now it's found. Let's have equal love. Love. When I look into your eyes, they bloom like you Can't play myself close, gotta be mindful I wanna be your friend, never to be lied to When I call butterflies, they remind me of you It's harder nowadays to tell who likes you My heart is frozen in the war soon Love is coming from you, cause I think about you You stirring up love, you my little boo I've been up all night, cause I'm going through it I've been aggravated, cause I'm having these misfits We didn't have a bad force, but what a trip You've always been my soul, man, I won't forget I done begged you over, over for the love I miss You didn't have boyfriends, but they ain't like this I was mad at first, but I thought it was great That we found equal love that I do back I'm here for you, baby Let me be there for you, baby Let's have equal love Let's share equal love Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out Love disappeared on me, but now it's found Let's have equal love Let's share equal love I'm here for you, baby Let me be there for you So bad when I'm not around. It's like we took a swim and accidentally drowned. I'm here to make you smile, not watch you frown. We can go places just to see the town. I can see in your eyes that you're really tight. Maybe get some rest before your mind flies. I'm getting impatient. Let's make it right. It's either that or never for a time. It's by your eyes, missing your eyes, seeing your sexy lips. The way you're feeling on your booty and your dick hips. I can tell you miss me by the way we kiss. But that's in the past now, like it's in the mist. Just pick up the phone, don't be ignorant. Just talk to me nice and be considerate. Take it to my heart, don't let it go to waste. Let's share equal love, let me reiterate. I'm here for you, baby. Let me be there for you, baby. Let's have equal love. Let's share equal love. Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out. Love disappeared on me, but now it's found. Let's have equal love. Let's share equal love When I look into your eyes, they bloom like you Can't play myself close, gotta be mindful I wanna be your friend, never to be lied to When I call butterflies, they remind me of you It's harder nowadays to tell who likes you My heart is frozen in the war soon Love is coming from you, cause I think about you You stirring up love, you my little boo I've been up all night, cause I'm going through it I've been aggravated, cause I'm having these misfits We didn't have a bad force, but what a trip You've always been my soul, man, I won't forget I done begged you over, over for the love I miss You didn't have boyfriends, but they ain't like this I was mad at first, but I thought it was great That we found equal love that I do back I'm here for you, baby Let me be there for you, baby Let's have equal love Let's share equal love Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out Love disappeared on me, but now it's found Let's have equal love Let's share equal love I'm here for you, baby Let me be there for you, baby Let's have equal love Let's share equal love Cause I'ma hold it down for you in and out
so bad when I'm not around It's like we took a swim and accidentally drown I'm here to make you smile, not watch you frown We can go places just to see the town I can see in your eyes that you're really tight Baby, get some rest before your mind flies Now I'm getting impatient, let's make it right It's either that or another for a time is fire I'm missing your eyes, in your sexy lips The way you're feeling on your booty and your dick hips I can tell you miss me by the way we kiss But that's in the past now like it's in the mist Just pick up the phone, don't be ignorant Just talk to me nice and be considerate Take keep it to my heart, don't let it go to waste Let's share equal love, let me reiterate I'm here for you, baby Let me be there for you, baby Let's have equal love Let's share equal love All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. Hello, hello. All right. Once again, I got my sister here, Dina Shane. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to get into celebrity news. So, first off, there's a topic about Alicia Keys not wanting to wear makeup anymore. So, I don't get it. It, I don't. I didn't even think she wore makeup ever. <laughs> so, I mean, that's brand new to me. If you, if you did some, some, somebody to tell me, please let it be known. How you feel about this? I feel like this is a great time in her career where she feel like because of the fact that she has children and they're getting older and mm. she has little girls. And to teach beauty and professionalism and being a professional woman and being beautiful and the difference and looking at yourself in the mirror and putting on a good character that you feel comfortable with and going into the world and reaching your goals financially in a successful way, um, I think she plays a good Ivy League part and being a good representative for that because she decided to not being an older woman in her career, but being older uh, than most of the women in her uh, career. She, she still can sing, though. She decided not to wear makeup anymore. I think that is very, very uh, good. I think that is a good approach. I think that shows that you don't have to mask, you don't have to put on any hair or cover up and you can still do natural things but hold on now to now, be beautiful we didn't, see, we didn't see alicia keys without makeup okay yeah she beautiful as hell but she still look like somebody little munchkin from 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 somebody movie so we ain't gonna sit here and do that you seen how she looked without makeup before so and I feel like, you know, that's everyone and it's some people's oh. uh, opinion because I personally know most men, you know, still look at Alicia Keys as a... Uh, a sex symbol. <laughs> not, a, not only as a sex symbol, but as someone, you know, they, they just idol her. They, they, they love her attitude. They love how she uh, looks, was not it, just with, there was, without there was, makeup. Uh, they look at her as a significant woman, and now, I feel like now, that's what I get out of it. Because even if I try to look at it from a sexual perspective, being a woman talking to a man about Alicia Keys, though, you know, I, 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 I you know, I try to pull it out of them, and they, I get the, you bet not, you know, look like you don't go there. That's Alicia Keys, you know, and and I, I, I myself, to me, um. I like that. I like when men get like that over a woman, and it's not coming now, from a sexual perspective. Now, hold on a second, because there was a talk about Alicia Keys being a lesbian. So, what? could you explain? Yeah. What? Yeah. There was talk about her being an actual lesbian. Years ago? Listen. I, listen, I, listen, I remember that back in my generation when Aaliyah was wearing hub huggers and baggy pants, and age wasn't well, nothing we but a number. Well, we Aaliyah was, but... I Alicia myself, Keys, she was very well preserved by herself. You ain't really hear much about Alicia Keys back in the days besides her music. I just don't music. feel like makeup and your clothing makes the person you are. And no, I still, really don't. even with a thousand haters, I still feel like you got 10,000 more that feel like, go ahead, girl. Look, 
all I'm saying is, you damn if you do, damn if you don't. You still be who you are. That's all I'm saying. And she is beautiful. Very beautiful. I agree. Anyways, what about Jamie Foxx? Wasn't he getting sick or something like that? Speaking on sick as hell, I think that this is a conversation of going into, you know, maintenance in yourself and health. No, no, Proper no, no, health. Not, not sickle cell. And, not sickle cell. Sick or something like that. Sick or something? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I heard he, was, he wasn't feeling well. I don't, I don't know. I'm not I don't sure. know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I heard. I feel bad for the family. Uh, you know, if Jamie Foxx was always since the Jamie Foxx show when I was a kid. That was one of my favorite shows to watch when I came home from school at 7 o'clock before I went to bed. Yes, I remember that. That and Martin. Peace out to the new show coming out, the new Martin. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it an opportunity and see what happens. Sometimes, you know, the, the movies and shows nowadays can surprise you. I hope it's funny like the last. Nah, I, I'm sorry. I can't watch that. I can't watch that <laughs> show. It ain't gonna feel right. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be it right. It ain't gonna be the same. No, it won't. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know why they even played themselves like that. They played themselves. Also, peace out to the new color, the color purple. Oh yeah, the new I gotta movie go coming. See that. The new oh. movie coming out. The new color purple, y'all. Yes, that's that's, that's not until Christmas. It's really not until Christmas. All right, another thing, um, last but not least, I want to get into some promotions and big shout-outs. Tonight, SG Media is having a Spring Bling concert, so it's going to be at 3812, uh, 38-12, 30th Street in Long Island City, New York tonight. And again, it's going to be at 3812 or 38-12, 30th Street. Street tonight. I will be there. L I C Queens. All right, and you know, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the one of the biggest one of the biggest p- p- events since the last one. And I I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the last one, y'all. I'm so I lost my wallet. I lost my goddamn mind. I lost every goddamn thing. So, was I will be there tonight to perform. The two, the two uh, most amazing tracks that I got, which is the Paris Interlude and Throw Back. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Chris Welch once again for doing his thing, even though he never promoted the book. <laughs> but I still want to give a shout out to this man for still <laughs> doing his thing. And y'all go run it up, man. Y'all go check out this man and his music. Would you pull enough for? It's one of the hardest tracks. Y'all go ahead and go check him out, man. And plus, get the magazine. You know, also got Casey Ben Casey on the cover too. Y'all go ahead and go pick her Ooh. up too. Yeah, she a little flying, a little badass. <laughs> I already told her about her damn self. And also, man, y'all checking the S Street Media dot com. Y'all check online about us. I check everywhere about us, man. We 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 are lit, and we're also gonna be down south pretty soon. So, and we are also gonna be moving to another different location. So, if you are still interested in being participants, or whether you're a vendor, whether you're an artist, or whether you're a performer, yeah, please come on and. Um, you know, check in with the God, see how everything is moving for you, or how everything is going. And in most cases, um, shout outs I want to give to also. I want to also give a shout out to SG Media, sponsored by Exxon. Um, also, <laughs> 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 I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Get Fed. We'll give a shout out to Seventeen Eighteen Collective. Um, give a shout out to the Level Up a gallery that's outside, that's ready. 
outside the um in the front right here at sixteen thirty nine Center Street. Give a shout out to them. And also I would like to give a shout out to everybody that actually participated and actually did they thing. Yes, sir. They 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 is doing their thing, that's did they thing, that's keep on doing it. You know. Do you have anything to say? What's your shout outs? Do you like to give a shout out to anything? Anybody? I would like to first give a shout out to my brother. He's doing his thing. He's getting he's uh actually doing really well and I just hope that he continues to keep going and to everyone. All the beautiful ladies and gents. You guys keep doing your thing. Keep representing for hip hop. Amen. And a shout out to God, of course. Without him, all this would not be possible. And without my mother, too. Yes, and shout out to our mother, Renee Sprinkle. She's a good mommy. That's the lady right there. Very good woman. All right, so we already gave our celebrity news, our promotion, and our shout outs. Um, also, I would like to thank. I would like to thank also Mad for hooking this up and taking the time to actually, you know, sit with me and have me, you know, go by the step by step. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I came here fucked up. <laughs> I didn't even know what the hell was going on. But, you know, thank God I got good people around me and, and you know, God bless for the good people that survived me. God bless, God bless. All right, so we finna tape this out. And, you know, um, like I said, y'all check in with your boy. Check in with the Mercs. They got the shirts right here. The Sprinkle family, you guys, yeah. represent. The music group. Sprinkles. You know what I mean? Check in if y'all want your T-shirts. If y'all want your magazines, anything, man, let me let me know. Check in with check in with your boy. So we finna get up out of here, and um, like I said, I appreciate y'all and everybody for checking in with us, and let's see how we doing once again. We out. It's the family vibes. It's the boogie, Dina the Shay, and you got Dina over here. All right, and we out. Peace.